Hello everyone and welcome. In this video we are going to see how to create a waiting and a loading screens. So uh, for example let's say that we have this button here and he needs to do something that takes time uh, like uh, sorting some array. And if I click here and paste this code, this code uh, will do a bubble sort on some uh, array. And uh, if I run the application and uh, click sort and now he's sorting in the background and my application is frozen, uh, frozen until that sorting isn't done. Uh, but what would be good if I could uh, notify my user somehow that the sorting is in progress and that uh, he should wait a while. So I'll create a new form. Okay, and I'll uh, call that form uh, its name F uh, wait. Okay. And I'll set up the caption to uh, please wait. And I'll give here a label saying uh, sorting in uh, progress. Please wait. Okay. And I will increase the font a little bit. Right. And uh, let's specify this window position to a uh, screen center. Also, uh, we'll specify that for the main window. And uh, well, let's see. Okay, sorting. If I click sorting, uh, well, nothing happened because we didn't show that uh, waiting window. Right. But now if I go into this code, uh, first I'll include the uh, second unit because it contains this uh, wait dialog. And now what I need to do is very simple. I'll just say uh, F uh, wait. OK, uh, show. Right. And uh, after sorting is done, I'll just say F wait uh, close. OK. And now let's see. Uh, clicking the button. And uh, the dialog is shown, but I don't see uh, my label here. Hmm. Uh, sometimes it's about uh, double buffering, and sometimes uh, not all messages have been processed. So I'll just try with uh, this process messages to see if it will work. Click. OK, it works. So we needed to call process messages here. And as you can see, uh, this dialog here is shown until uh, the uh, sorting isn't complete, right? Please wait. And uh, only after the sorting is done, uh, he will close the window. So it's pretty simple. Just uh, uh, place uh, show and close in between uh, those uh, operations that take time. Uh, but sometimes I need to uh, have a loading screen with much more details. So, for example, I'll cre create a new, uh, well, I'll create several new forms. Okay, let's say that I have three new forms. And I'll create a form that is called um, F loading. Okay. And I will also place it uh, at the center screen, right? And uh, I will again say, please wait. Maybe, yeah, we could have probably reused the previous uh, wait dialog, uh, but never mind in this case. Uh, I'll say here uh, loading. And uh, I'll put a progress bar here. OK. And um, now let's go to our uh, project file. OK. And here in this project file, I will try to uh, simulate a loading of the application uh, with some random uh, delay. Uh, randomize. Okay, and uh, after initialize, I'll say something like this. I will not create this loading form uh, like this, but I'm going to uh, create it dynamically. So I'll use uh, smart pointers, and for that, I'll include memory. 
and I'll say um, std unique uh, pointer uh, pointer to uh, loading and it's called loading uh, is new f loading uh, so something like this and now I have dynamically creating the loading screen and I will initialize uh, its components saying uh, well uh, first of all in order to get to this class I also need to include the unit where that class is located and it is uh, unit 6 so I'll also need to include unit 6.h and now I have uh, access to label 1 and progress bar 1 so I'll say uh, label 1 uh, caption is uh, loading uh, form 1 for example and um, then I'll say uh, first of all what is uh, the maximum uh, position of the progress bar is uh, how many forms do I have here? One, two, uh, three, four, and five. So I'll say five. And the current position is uh, is zero. Okay. And um, again, I'll specify a label uh, loading form one. And now I'll just uh, simulate uh, some waiting time here, up to one second, for example, or a second and a half. Sleep uh, random value up to uh, something like this. Uh, in reality, uh, forms are created very fast, but sometimes uh, some forms, for example, uh, can contain data sets and in order to load the data set on the form, it needs to execute the SQL query, uh, copy the data into memory and those things can sometimes take a while. So we are just trying to simulate uh, those operations uh, by using this code here. And uh, so we have something like this. Uh, loading form one and we are going to show this loading form show and again uh, we'll call the application uh, process messages to ensure that everything is shown properly and at the end uh, we'll uh, use the uh, loading uh, close okay so what we have here, we have created a new window, set it maximum position of the progress bar to 5, current position is 0, and now we are starting with the uh, loading form 1. Now I'm going to use the same code for uh, form 2. Uh, in this case it's a form wait. Uh, form uh, wait. Okay then uh, again uh, for uh, form uh, 3 I don't need this for the fourth form and for the fifth form uh, you can also try to, uh, to do this automatically uh, it doesn't need to be this uh, ugly uh, but just for the sake of uh, demonstration we'll do it like this and um, well let's see what we got if I run the application now and we have our uh, loading screen but uh, progress bar is moving um, hmm. so we forgot that part so I'll just say um, position loading form 1 plus plus okay and again plus plus and plus plus okay now let's try again and now we have uh, our loading screen let's try it again and as you can see it works uh, 
Okay, so uh, that is one way you can create uh, something like a loading or a splash screen uh, that is uh, that shows the progress of uh, loading your application. And uh, similar way we have demonstrated how you can uh, create a waiting screen that notifies your user uh, something is happening and that he should wait a while. Like in this case, progress is in uh, prog uh, sorting is in progress. Uh, please wait. Uh, I hope this can be useful for you and like always, uh, see you soon. Thank you.